What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today I'm looking at General Grievous, uh, newest figure in the deluxe line. I believe this is an online retailer exclusive, um, which is interesting because the last couple of deluxe figures have been Target exclusives in the USA. Um, so still quite unclear to me at least, um, I'm sure. There are others online that can have more reliable information than me. Um, <laughs> I picked this up from eBay seller Freeman Toys. Um, always gets here really, really quickly and uh, for a reasonable price because they include shipping in the price. So not too bad at all. Uh, again, so we got the sort of bigger box that came with the Gamorrean Guard and Moloch um, previously. We've got a new, new number code on the side, which is D1. Um, great time to start there, Hasbro. You may as well start numbering them from the third figure. Um, that's going to bug a lot of people, I'm sure. So we've got a write-up on the back. General Grievous was a brilliant separatist military strategist and feared Jedi hunter. Known for his ruthlessness and hacking cough, his body itself was a weapon, allowing him lightning quick strikes and devastating blows. But he was also quick to run from a fight, a tactic that worked until one final meeting with one final meeting with Obi Wan Kenobi. And we all know how that ended, didn't we? So let's get a look at this figure. Um, I'm pretty damn impressed with this thing, more than I thought I was. Um, General Grievous figures in the past have uh, they've, they've they've been good ones and they've been really quite terrible ones. Um, I think the most recent one was probably in the Vintage Collection back in 2010-2011. Um, just trying to think back. I don't believe we've had one since, so it's you know it's been seven or eight years since we've had a General Grievous action figure um, in the main Hasbro lines anyway. Uh, now this it, it certainly has its flaws. Um, the glaringly big one in front of you is the cape. I know most people have um, would agree and have agreed and have said the same things that I'm about to say. Um, despite the fact that they've used fantastic material, um, it's really well made, it's really well put together, it's really well put together. It's just not accurate um, for displaying it on this figure. It's great, it's got pockets in it for the extra lightsaber hilts you can pop in there, that's fantastic. I absolutely appreciate that. Unfortunately, no symbol on the back. He's meant to have a symbol on the back and if I had remembered I would have grabbed another General Grievous figure um, to show that and also just the front where the cape ties up around the neck that's it just looks it just doesn't look that good should probably come cut across thinner so I might try and alter it myself because the cape is meant to sort of sit underneath that sort of big collar piece of armor that he has around the neck and to sort of drape over the shoulder. So it should be able to tuck in under there. And I thought that's what we were gonna be able to do. I thought we'd better lift that off and then put the cape on and then pop that down. Um, but it's not the case, unfortunately. That's It was a little disappointing, but I'm just not gonna display him with it. It's, it's that easy. Um, but uh, detail-wise, this figure is pretty damn fantastic. Um, some really great detail. I wish there was a little bit more underneath the chest plates there, just a little bit extra detail for his, you know, his gut sack that he's got under there. Um, that would be, would have been cool. But again, not not. I'm not going to be too picky about it because it looks good as it is. And uh, I guess you don't really see it all that much until Obi Wan does rip them open. So let's get a close look at his at his face here. I hope that's coming up all right on the camera. Too much light. So really nicely detailed. And the eyes, they look good. And there's a there's a lot of moving parts on this figure, so I've got to commend Hasbro for what they've done with the figure itself, because um, it's 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 quite 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 excellent just saying it simply um, 
yeah, I just wish they'd you know a little bit more attention on the on the cape, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so he's got plenty of weathering throughout his armor throughout the figure. Cleaner on the back. Got some sort of silverware on the on the legs there. A bit more weathering on the knee armor. Looks pretty good. Accessory wise, he does come with the cape obviously that I just showed you. Comes with his with his blaster, which isn't a droid blaster. For some reason that looks like it's gonna lift off, but not sure. Obviously, that's the one that Obi Wan uses to to end him. Now he comes with four lightsaber blades. Um, so we got this one here. They're pretty simple. They're nice and thick, so they hold in his hands quite well. Um, I, yep, they're nice and easily removable. Nice and easily removable, so that's good. So we got one green blade, a second green blade. Reasonably simple in its design. First blue one. Now I wouldn't be surprised to see these show up with some other Jedi in the future. In particular this last one here, which is the one that stood out for me, because uh, that sculpt is Plo Koon's lightsaber. Or the one that Mace Windu had in episode one. But uh, that later went to Plo Koon. So, fingers crossed that Plo Koon makes an entrance at some stage to the Black Series. That would be awesome! Anyway, so let's get transforming this figure into his sort of forearms. So, some great articulation. I'm going to try and get through it as I talk. Now, he has a ball socket in his ankle. He has a hinge there. He has a double hinge at the knee. There's a ball and socket in the hip. I'm just going to go through it now. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Uh, he has another joint, ball and socket joint in the in the hips, hip area there. He has sort of, I guess it'd be the equivalent of a butterfly joint, kind of that moves up and down there at the shoulder. Obviously, there's two ball socket in that joint which is attached to two hinges in the shoulder which then allows you to split those arms apart now if we move down in each of the arms I'll show you on this one each of the arms there is a swivel just in there there is a hinge at the elbow there there's another swivel at the base of that end part of the forearm and that's it for the arms. I hope you're counting because I'm not. <laughs> um, another, so we've got the same on that arm. And then he's got a, looks to be a ball and socket in the neck, base of the neck there. So yeah, lots of movement around there, looks good. You can have him sort of standing up tall and straight or you can have him sort of hunched over because there's a ball and socket in the head as well. Yeah, a lot of a lot of great movement with this with this figure, and I think I've pretty much covered it all. It's quite a lot there. So uh, let's arm this guy up. Let's get him ready for his fight with Obi Wan. But like I said, the lightsaber hilts are quite nice and thick. So they do hold it really reasonably well. I don't want to speak too soon. This one's being a little bit tricky. That's that Plo Koon one that I was telling you about that I was so excited about. Um, you might have to use one of those small elastic bands for that one. Next blue one. And the last green one up the top here. And there we have him. So he gets this guy in some pretty sweet poses. 
quality of the plastic's good. I think the, the feet are probably a little bit soft. Um, there's a little bit of flex, flex there, not too bad. Um, but certainly the thing that suffered with the vintage collection was the leg, the, the plastic and the leg was far too soft. Um, and you find, if you stood him up, you'd find him just bowing over time um, and constantly fall over. So hopefully we don't have the problem with this guy. Time will tell. But I'm oh, very excited to have this one because he looks great. There we have him. Just angle that head down a little bit. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, all the links to my social media stuff is in the description as well. So you can go and follow me around the place. <laughs> you can online stalk me if, you, if that's your thing. I hope not. Anyway, <laughs> before I uh, end up muttering more, I'll end it there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Hello there.